Hello Cecil, my name is Kutube and welcome to this tutorial. I've had both the old and new versions of the PS4 and uh, both of which are pretty laggy from the get-go on certain high demanding games such as Battlefield and Call of Duty. So I did some research and found a quick and simple solution that increased my internet speed by about threefold or so. So uh, I thought I'd share it with you. This is pretty baby proof and step by step and I go through a video tutorial so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So please have your PS4 and computer at the ready and be prepared to take any notes slash pictures to remember a few little bits. Um, unless of course your PlayStation and computer are in the same room. I'm using a Windows computer. If you're on a Mac, I don't know exactly what differences that'll make. I think it'll still be pretty much the same thing. So just try and follow as best as you can. So then, firstly, on your computer, click the start button in the bottom left and type CMD and press enter. It'll open this little black box with the command prompt. In that prompt, type IP C O N F I G slash all and press enter. It's IP config slash all. A bunch of text will appear. Just ignore that and scroll right up near the top and find a title that reads network connection or local area connection. In the section beneath this, you'll need to write down or take a picture of the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS servers. You'll probably only have one DNS server, but if you do have multiple, then only take note of the first two. Now please head over to your PS4. Towards the top right of your PS4 home screen, go into your settings, then select network, set up internet connection, and if your PS4 is connected wirelessly to your router or modem, then select use Wi-Fi, and alternatively, um, if it's connected via an Ethernet cable, then select use a LAN cable, then select custom, now, if you selected use a LAN cable earlier, you'll now be on your IP address settings. If you selected use Wi-Fi, then please uh, select your hub and enter your password. Then you'll be taken to the IP address settings. Select manual. Now, for your IP address, enter the first three numbers. That's the first three sets of digits from your computer's IP address separated by dots. And then the fourth number, you just make it up yourself. Other devices in your household may be automatically assigning themselves to IP addresses too, so to avoid having the same address used by two different devices, I recommend that you make the fourth number something in the hundreds. For example, if the IP address in your computer was 192.168.1.0, then for this I would enter something along the lines of 192.168.1.200. Now for your subnet mask and default gateway, copy them exactly from your computer. For the DNS servers, enter your first two DNS servers respectively. And if you only had one DNS server, however, enter that as your primary DNS server and delete the secondary DNS server so it just shows up as zeros. Now click next, automatic, do not use and test your internet connection to assure it's connected. Your internet speed won't be any faster just yet, so don't expect any changes from before. If it's any reassurance, my connection at this point was a download speed of under 1 megabyte and a mere 1.2 megabytes for upload speed. Now please head back over to your computer. Okay, so open up any browser. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm using Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter. In the search bar, type portforward.com and press enter. Here on the left, under the Games section, select how to port forward to the PS4. Now choose your router brand. If it doesn't have your exact router's model, I just go with the closest equivalent they have and see if that works. Now please open up a new tab. In the search bar, literally just type your default gateway and press enter. It'll ask you for your admin username and password. If you don't know them yourself, there are two options you can try. Option one, go back to the other tab and find the two bright blue bold lines. They will show you your likely default login details. Option two, check the back of your router or modem. It'll probably be on a little card slipped in the back. If not, it could be on a sticker or something as such. This is not your network key. It is a separate password that for me at least is located beneath a square code-like image. Unless the username uh, has been manually changed, it's probably just admin. 
If neither of these methods work, someone in your household has probably changed it, so just ask them for the new details. Now locate the DMZ tab anywhere under your advanced settings. It could be tricky to find and it will vary from brand to brand. If you can't find it, there should be instructions on how to find your way around this site on the portforward.com tab. But you shouldn't have to dig too far, it is there. Once you've located it, enable DMZ and type in the new static IP address for your PS4, the one that you just made up. Or if it's a drop down list, select your PS4's IP address from the drop down. For some, the drop down might not have an IP address but a MAC address, which looks very different, it contains letters, and there may even be more than one option. In this case, go to your PS4, select Settings, System, System Information, and take note of your relevant MAC address, be it the Wi Fi or LAN address, whichever one matches. Once you've entered or selected your correct address, hit Apply. And that's pretty much it for DMZ. So just head back over to your PS4, go back into your settings, then select network and test the internet connection again to see if the download slash upload speeds are any faster. Mine went up by almost threefold after DMZ, so hopefully yours do too. If that's worked, you can port forward as well if you wish. It's a separate port opening uh, thing that you can do. Again, depending on your modem, it may allow you to uh, give specific individual games an additional speed boost, but it's not necessarily going to make any difference. If for whatever reason DMZ didn't work, however, then I definitely recommend you try port forwarding as well. To do this, simply locate the port forwarding tab. It should also be under the same section of your advanced settings as the DMZ tab was. On my screen, the port forwarding page only shows two simple options, game or application, and device. If you have these options, simply select slash type in the device or MAC address like before and select the game or application that you wish to open the port for, that being the game or application that is laggy, and hit apply. If however there are more options or boxes to fill out, you can get the rest of the information from your other tab on portforward.com. Simply scroll back up and find the little box near the top that says enter static IP address and enter your PS4 static IP. Again it's the one that you created earlier. Hit enter. Then scroll down and it'll give you the rest of the details to take note of and fill out on the other tab. The only options that you don't have to copy word for word are the service name slash manual services ones. They'll say name 1, name 2, name 3 etc. As you can change these names uh, to something that feels more organized to you. On your other tab, simply enter the details and assign them individually. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Please make sure to leave a like if it was and let me know in the comments how you got on and whether either of these methods worked for you too. And bear in mind that not many people know about these kinds of methods. So if this video worked for you, then please share it with your friends as it'll most likely improve their gaming experience too. And I'd really appreciate the support. Now just to let you guys know, my channel is not a how-to or tutorial based channel, I actually focus mainly on making com comedy based let's play series. So if that's something that you might enjoy, then please feel free to check out some other videos that I've made. And that's all from me. Happy gaming!